Right here, you see Opie setting the edge. Takes that snap. Smith now steps up. Smith is going to lose the ball. And I mean, growing up in Michigan was an experience for sure. Uh, you know, I got big love for my city. When I started to pick up the game of football at the age of 11, 12, because of my big cousin, um, Mario Ojemudia, he played in the league for a little bit with the Ravens. You get into it in high school and you have an amazing career. I mean, you were, was a top 10, top 20 player in, in the state of Michigan. I get invited to Nike's, the opening. What was it about Notre Dame that just kind of gravitated you to playing for them? I just took a visit there and uh, really took it all in, um, talked to the coaches, and it was just a great opportunity to play high-level football, as well as getting a high-level um, education, which is also important to me and my family. So um, they pretty much made the decision pretty easy there, three hours from the crib. What made you transfer to Texas? I mean, just was it because of the opportunities to play at Texas? But, uh, you know, grace of God, I was able to graduate in three years while I was at Notre Dame. So it automatically gave me the option option to uh, grad transfer. Of course, I was looking for more opportunities, uh, looking for more TIG. It was just a wonderful opportunity with a new staff at Sarkeesian, um, a great D-line coach with Coach Bo and a wonderful defensive coordinator with uh, Coach PK. And, you know, you know, it felt like a no-brainer. Yeah, and there was a particular game against Alabama where you were giving Bryce Young a lot of issues. And this guy's a Heisman Trophy winner. Young, it's Trevor Arano going out. Look at the pressure in the face of Bryce Young. Ovi Agofu, number 18, is there. But people look at the stat sheets and say, oh, Ovi's two sacks, two and a half sacks this year. Do you feel like the stat sheets don't really do justice on how good of a player you are? You know, the stat sheet is one thing, but I feel like if you go back, watch the tape and see the impact, you know, you know, I'm putting on these quarterbacks, the pressure I'm putting on these quarterbacks, you see exactly why I say, you know, I am who I am, I'm a beast, a destructive player, and, you know, ultimately, you know, a player that's, 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 that's always trying to get to the ball and always trying to cause havoc. And why'd you choose to transfer out of Texas and specifically to LSU? As you know, with COVID and reassuring, you know, I wasn't aware of, you know, the extra year that I had. Brian Kelly from LSU reached out to me. I like the way that, you know, Brian Kelly operates, you know, when I was at Notre Dame, that professional approach. Whether it be like in a 4-3 or a 3-4, have you ever like played inside linebacker, or is it always just been primarily on the edges? I mean, when I was coming to Notre Dame, I was being recruited as an inside backer. So um, I had prior knowledge really in high school. Throughout college, I played um, edge and uh, sandbacker, so outside backer. And I think like that's another like, you know, thing I bring to the NFL is that, you know, my versatility being able to play edge, being able to play outside, being able to even dive in inside those packages. Sanders, there's a flag down. Sanders in trouble, gets rid of it. Incomplete. With the NFL draft coming up, I'm not sure if you've got like a combine invite or if you're looking forward to pro day, but uh, what's like your preparation like in preparing for those uh, events? Uh, I mean, this is it's a big shout out to my team with um, Day One Sports. And, um, you know, game face out here in Boca Raton, where I'm training at, you know, I'm getting bigger, stronger, faster in these short, or, you know, in this short amount of span time. Which teams do you feel like in the NFL would fit best with you and you could bring a lot to the table? The Steelers, um, that defense, especially we've seen the way um, Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt has been able to dominate that position. The San Francisco 49ers, of course, you know, um, they play a real destructive defense where, you know, their edge rushers are just flying up the field, trying to get the, the fast and get off possible just, just, to, just to create havoc. Okay. Running out of time. Cannot escape. Yet another sack. Why do you believe that Ovi Agofu should be a starting edge rusher in the NFL? The way I can just, you know, analyze offenses, you know, dissect formations and predict what's happening next and being, you know, damn near 100% on it physically. Just being versatile, being able to play damn near any position and having a seek destroy mindset, um, a killer be killed mindset. You're a better team with me on the field. And um, 
that's what I would tell, you know, NFL scouts, any of them.